and welcome back to the channel. Monica Loop here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the next six months. I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. In this reading, Capricorn, there will be a link below in the description box for the next six months. If you're looking for a more in-depth extended reading, you will find the link in the description box below. Okay, so your challenge here is the Five of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge over the next six months, Capricorn, is the Five of Cups. This is about you finding ways to shift your focus from all the negative experiences that have been going on in your life, um, you know, over the last few months. Uh, we're going to clarify the Five of Cups. We're going to see why it's your challenge when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Three of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and you have the Page of Pentacles. So in the recent past, it looks like you took some journey, okay? Or if this wasn't you, this was someone that you were dealing with that, you know, parted from you. You um, could have been dealing with someone who left you or who disconnected um, from you. It looks like for many of you, you started some sort of course here in the past or you started to work on yourself here in the past. We're gonna get some more information on this for you in a moment. In the present moment, you have the chariot, the page of cups, and you have the star. It looks like in the present moment, you're moving on from something. Um, I do get a sense here of an apology. I do get a sense here of, you know, maybe flirting happening for some of you. We're gonna find out more when we clarify. In the near future, you have the star, you have the tower, and you have the seven of wands. It looks like there's a tower moment in the near future okay that's showing up the reason why this tower moment is showing up is because there's something here capricorn that you know needs to change um, a lot of you are not adapting to something that needs to change a lot of you are ignoring something and because you're ignoring it it ends up leading into a tower moment okay for you something here starts to shed light light starts to be shed on something here that's unstable and as much as you try to fight this situation and you try to ignore it it looks like something that you can't ignore any longer okay and a lot of you may say, oh, that's not good news, but this is the reality, okay? There's something here you're ignoring. And the more you ignore it, it leads to a tower moment, okay? What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of cups here in reverse. The seven of cups in reverse uh, with the lovers at the bottom, the reason why you and a specific person that you're in love with are separated or you're not together is because there's a lack of clarity of where the, the connection's going. There's a lack of direction. There's a lack of planning for the future. Um, and this has been happening for a lot of the other signs as well too. So over the next six months, what you're going to realize, especially with the seven of cups here, is in order for you to proceed and in order for something here to work out in your favor the way that you want to, you need to get really clear on something in order to avoid tower moments, in order to avoid um, unnecessary pain, trauma, uh, you know, issues that keep cropping up that a lot of you don't want to face or you don't want to deal with. Okay. It's very much connected to you getting clear on something. All right. So let's uh, get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. You have the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, and you have the Hierophant. A lot of you are disappointed about a marriage or a commitment. And, you know, a lot of you are alone right now or you're not with this person. And, you know, there's a lot of this uncertainty. There's a lot of this, well, what if this person's, you know, cheating on me? What if they're not really wanting to be with me? Um, you know, what if this person genuinely... Uh, isn't really in love with me anymore. There's something here that you're questioning when it comes to a marriage or a commitment. And that's going to be your biggest challenge to listen to your intuition and to really understand, overstand, and understand if this is something that you should continue to commit yourself to. This could be a job. It doesn't have to be a relationship. For some of you, it is a marriage. For some of you, it's a job. Um, but there's a lot of this sadness, okay, um, over the next six months that you're still dealing with. There's something here that you're still dealing with that's really affected you on a deep level. Some of you are still connected to somebody here that you're at a distance from, um, but there's this feeling that something here can't be repaired, which isn't true. There is a possibility for things to get better, but a lot of you need to shift your focus and that's gonna be a big challenge. The Five of Cups is about shifting our focus from not only looking at what went wrong, but what we can do in order to preserve and make certain connections right in our life. And that's gonna be a big part of your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Three of Wands in the recent past. 
you have the three of wands, the queen of pentacles and the tower. Somebody here left in the recent past, you left or this person left. There was a lot of overthinking about the connection and that's what led to a tower moment. Um, so something here happened in the past where you may have not been giving your all to the connection, okay? There may have been instability already in the connection in the past. Something here was not stable, and this is why somebody here decided to disconnect. Now, in the present moment, it looks like there's a lot of forgiveness. There's a lot of healing, uh, and it's like, okay, we can move forward from this, right? Tell me more about the Page of Cups for Capricorn in the present moment. You have the Judgment, you have the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Hermit. So in the present moment, it's very clear um, what's happening right now. I'm getting a chasing vibe here. I'm getting like you're chasing this person or they're chasing you. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm getting a Virgo here as well. Cancer and Aquarius is also very strong. So there's some sort of realization that whatever you're offering isn't enough, okay? So whatever you're offering, it's not enough or whatever this person's offering you isn't enough. Um, or it could be the fact that somebody here doesn't really know what they want. Okay. There's still this inner work that's taking place in the present moment. And I feel like this is you Capricorn. Tell me more about the chariot in the present moment. You have the chariot twice, the lovers, and you have the nine of cups. Somebody here in the present moment wants to move forward, but even though it appears and I'm going to keep it real with you, even though it appears that you and this person are in love together, the reason why somebody wants to come towards this connection or move forward is because it's one that's going to lead to a lot of fulfillment for them. Okay. And the thing about relationships is there's two people involved. It's not only about what benefits one person, it needs to benefit both people. Otherwise, this is what creates tower moments. And that's why a tower moment happened in the past, because either one person was giving a lot to the connection while the other person wasn't giving anything back, or somebody was only in the connection um, because it benefited them. There was something within the connection that made this person feel secure within themselves, but doesn't necessarily mean that it was for the group, for the, for the, for the relationship, if you know what I mean. And this is why there's a lot of inner work going on right now, because for many of you, it looks like there's a connection that you want to move forward with. It looks like it's very positive, but are you moving forward in this connection for the right reasons? Or are you moving towards this connection because it only serves you and it only benefits you? So there needs to be some sort of clarity in terms of that. You have the star here. So there's definitely and beneath the clarific uh, clarification deck, you had the star here in reverse. So it's telling me that although it appears that there is an opportunity for you and this person to heal things, there's something here about not talking about the future or not talking about issues that created the tower moment in the first place. Okay. So tell me more about the star. I'm getting something very bitter here. Some of you are eating something bitter. Okay. Um, very alkaline energy that I'm getting here in the present moment. So the star is clarified by the 10 of pentacles. You have the queen of swords and king of swords. Yeah. So this is about you and this person having a meeting. This is your soulmate. This is a person that you love that you're meant to be with. Um, and there's a conversation about this long-term commitment and connection and how it's going to be possible. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing in the present moment in the near future. There's a tower moment. We're going to jump right in and find out why this tower moment is here and what, what you need to know. Cause it happened in the past. So whatever happened in the past is bound to happen again. If you don't get clear on something. Okay. And this is the biggest message for you moving forward over the next six months. Tell me more about the tower for Capricorn. Why is it here? What do they need to know? You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. The reason why there's a conflict here in the near future is because an offer that you're making or an offer that this person's making in the near future is not stable. There's a lot of promises here in the near future. Oh, we can do this, we can do that, or you know, let's put our money and time and energy into this. But the idea is not solid. It's just an idea, okay? There's no action plan being taken here. And when the action plan actually needs to happen, somebody here is resistant towards that because the seven of cups is here or the seven of wands is here. So somebody here is trying to make things happen. They're trying to keep up with everything. Um, but at the same time, I don't see cooperation here. Why? Because the five of swords is not a cooperative energy. The five of swords is conflict. The five of swords is a power struggle. The five of swords is, you know, I want to have my way and I'm going to do the, you know, the things that I want to do. Um, and you're going to follow what I need to do. There's something here about 
forcing a situation. That's what I'm getting here. There's something here about forcing a situation. And it becomes very evident here the reason why something isn't working because again, I can come to you and I can say, I'm gonna give you the world, but if there's no action plan, if there's no solid steps to get to that point, then it just becomes a fantasy, right? And this is what the Seven of Cups in reverse is talking about. When it's upright, this is a fantasy card. It's a card of fantasy. The Seven of Cups is a card of fantasy. It's having a bunch of options and not being clear on anything. And the reason why the tower moment is happening for you, Capricorn, as much as you don't want it to happen is because you're learning to get clear on what you want, especially when it comes to love. How do you see this relationship going? Do you have an idea or do you expect your partner to figure that out? Right? You know, you are the maker of your reality and destiny. And the more you look at why something went wrong, instead of looking at how to find solutions to it, the more you delay and the more there's issues moving forward. And that's what I'm seeing for you because right now in the present moment, something looks very beautiful. Even though it appears that you and this person are never gonna get back together, there's still that opportunity if you're willing to take action. Look, hangman in reverse you need to start taking action to come out of this separation, to move forward towards this person by getting clear on exactly how you want your life to go. And that may mean being uncomfortable, coming out of your comfort zone, doing things that you haven't done before, but that's part of learning and growing, okay? And that's what I see for you over the next six months. Let's get some advice for you, Capricorn. You have the strength, the queen of wands, and you have the knight of cups. Your biggest piece of advice here is to find the inner strength to figure out and dedicate your emotions to what it is that you want, okay? Right now you're in the knight of cups energy, which means your emotions are all over the place. One day everything's great, the next day everything is not. There's a lot of this up and down energy that's happening um, for you, and this could be very much astrological. Um, there's something that could be aspecting you right now, we're squaring. I think that this has a lot to do um, with what is happening in uh, a few other signs. Okay. I'd have to look at your chart and I'm not really looking at your chart right now, so I don't know, but I feel like this emotional up and down that you've been experiencing is very much connected maybe to the fact that Pluto has been moving in and out of your sign. Um, there's a big change that's coming right now. So this is about you recognizing what type of energy you need to be in, in order to find the inner strength to get what you want, because right now there's a very strong desire. There's something here you really want, but it's a process, okay? This means getting clear on your emotions, getting clear on what you want, getting clear on your environment, the people you're hanging out with, the things that you're doing in, in your day-to-day -day life. Um, that means you are shifting, okay? You're shifting out of maybe a comfortable energy that you're used to into an energy of, of growth. And you know, when we change into an energy of growth, when we're moving into that energy, it requires us to come outside of our comfort zone. So this is about you willing to do that. And if you're willing to do that, I see things getting more clear for you and you finally getting what it is that you're looking to receive, okay? So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.